I'm Stephen, and this is your Daily Energy Report. Breakthrough in hydro fuel generation could revolutionize alternative energy market. Y. H. Percival Zhang and his team from Virginia Tech have succeeded in using xylose, the most abundant simple plant sugar, to produce a large quantity of hydrogen from any plant, a discovery that has the potential to bring a low-cost, environmentally friendly fuel source to the world. This new environmentally friendly method of producing hydrogen utilizes renewable natural resources, releases almost no greenhouse gases, and does not require costly metals. Other experts say that the process could find its way to the marketplace in as quickly as three years if the technology is available. Arkansas Nuclear One's Unit 2 for Restart Entergy officials are drawing up plans to restart Arkansas Nuclear One's Unit 2, a process estimated to take several weeks. The unit has been out of commission since Sunday when it shut down automatically after a 550-ton generator fell as it was being moved out of the turbine building. The accident resulted in the fatality of one worker and injuries to eight others. Both Unit 1 and Unit 2 currently remain in a stable shutdown condition. CPUC's Self-Generation Incentive Program The California Public Utilities Commission Incentive Program will render incentives to support existing new and developing distributed energy resources. The Self-Generation Incentive Program gives rebates to qualified energy systems installed on the customer side of the utility meter. Qualified technologies include gas and wind turbines, pressure reduction turbines, and internal combustion engines, microturbines, waste heat to power systems, fuel cells, and advanced energy storage systems. Improvements at NREL's Wind Center to harness more power from low-speed wind. Researchers at the National Renewable Energy Laboratory are pushing for a more sustainable energy future by leading the way in testing the most advanced wind turbine technologies and preparing them for future deployment. NREL entered a partnership with Alstom, a French power generation company, when its Eco 100 wind turbine was installed for certification testing. The turbines were recently updated to test a new state-of-the-art blade design. The change converted the Eco 100 turbine into an Eco 110 turbine with a huge 110 meter rotor diameter, making it the largest and most powerful wind turbine currently on the NWTC site. The new blade configuration is specifically designed to operate efficiently at lower wind speeds to allow greater power generation at lower speeds. For more energy news and analysis, visit dailyenergyreport.com.